Welcome to my unboxing of the Intel Core i7-3960X LGA 2011 Extreme Edition Desktop Processor. And what you may or may not have noticed at this point in time is that this processor does not include a heatsink. So, like some previous processors in the past, although it's never been done by Intel, this CPU assumes from the get-go that you are going to be using aftermarket cooling. However, Intel does have cooling options available. They actually have two different cooling options available that you can buy separately, and that is an air cooling heatsink, which you can buy. Okay, there you go. So you're pretty, uh, this is pretty much what used to come included with the Extreme Editions. And then you can also buy their water cooler, which we used in a previous video and is installed in the case right now. It's going to be kind of hard for me to drag it out. So what do we find inside the actual box? I, I mean, I have even less of an excuse for doing an unboxing of a processor at this point now that there's only a CPU, a sticker, and a installation instructions and three-year warranty booklet inside. I don't know. Huh, look at that. It's sealed with a sticker. There we are. Righto. There, so it shows you how to install stuff and tells you about how you have a three-year warranty, tells you about Intel hyper-threading technology and virtualization technology, and this has pretty much all of the Intel technology because this is the Extreme Edition, this is the cream of the crop, and it is expensive. So, an LGA 2011 CPU is very large. It has 2,011 pins on the bottom of it, and I'm just going to show you guys for scale, what it looks like next to a couple of other CPUs. When I get back with said CPUs from the Tech Tips room, while Slick takes a very close look at, really? The booklet? You've got to be kidding me. Okay, oh, he says he was looking at the CPU. All right, fine. Okay, so this is an LGA 1155 CPU. This is an LGA 1366 CPU, and there for scale next to them is your LGA 2011 CPU, so basically it is a beast. And here from AMD is their AM3 Plus socket, so you can kind of see how that compares as well. So it's by far the biggest desktop CPU out there in terms of sheer size, which obviously equates to performance. Well, it doesn't, but... In this case, it does. So this is a 3.3 gigahertz CPU, which is capable of turboing up to 3.9 gigahertz. So yes, turbo uh, boost technology is on this particular chip. It's a six core CPU with hyper threading, which means 12 threads, just like the previous generation 990X on LGA 1366. In fact, I believe this is a 990X. There you go, this is a 990X. So this is how much bigger and this is how much better it performs than a 990X. This is based on Sandy Bridge technology. It's called Sandy Bridge E, S, B, E. And what that means is it's basically six of these cores instead of four of these cores with four-way quad-channel memory support, PCI Express 3.0 support up to 16x by and 16x for two-way graphics configurations, or 16.8.8 for three-way and 8.8.8.8 for four-way SLI or Crossfire X configurations. And it has 15 megs of cache compared to the non-Extreme Edition CPU, which has only 12 megs of cache and is clocked lower. I think that pretty much covers everything there is to say in this CPU unboxing. So if you want the mostest performancest and the largest CPU on the block, then this is the one to get.